Hi, my name is Matiazzi and today I will be presenting you the newest and best Top Lights VST plugin. Before you start blabbing in the comments without watching the video how we already have two different Top Lights plugins and it's all essentially the same thing, please hear me out. Most, if not all, custom devices people use for Launchpad are made with Max for Live. Max for Live requires Live 9 Suite or Standard, which means in order to use these plugins, you need to spend a lot of extra money for them. However, while coding plugins in Max for Live can be easier sometimes, it's almost always better to code a plugin as a VST plugin. VST is a software interface which allows host applications to utilize third party applications for manipulating audio or MIDI data. Hosts load them as plugins in as an instrument or part of a chain of devices. One of the main advantages of using a VST plugin instead of a Max for Life plugin is the ability to write your code in C, which allows you to do exactly what you want with the device. If you need to access Live's exclusive features, Max for Live is the way to go. For the launchpad, we don't need any of these, so writing a VST plugin is very feasible and much more optimized than any Max for Live solution can ever be. Another big advantage of this approach is that VST plugins don't require Live9 Suite or Standard to load. I've decided to take advantage of this feature to finally allow for smooth top lights which even run under Live9 Lite. I've also added some extra features to it, such as the ability to select what launchpad the project file was made for and what launchpad you're using. This allows for the top row to be moved correctly when you're playing an SRMK2 project on the Pro and vice versa. And the best of all, I've made the plugin free to download for anyone to use right now. The device is available for both Mac and Windows, 32-bit and 64-bit. Look down in the description for the download link. I'll go through the installation of the Top Lights VST plugin for both Windows and Mac OS right now. Once you've downloaded the archive, look inside of the Windows folder and choose the DLL file for your operating system. Make a folder in the C drive named VST Plugins and place the DLL file inside that folder. Open your Ableton Live and go into Preferences. At the File Folder tab, browse for your custom VST folder and select the folder we made earlier. If you happen to use some other VSTs like Serum, which are already inside their own custom VST folder, you can place the Top Lights DLL file inside that folder instead. Rescan and the plugins should appear in your file browser under the Plugins tab. If you're on Mac, take the VST file and place it inside of this directory. I'll also leave it in the description so you can easily copy paste it. To open the dialog for navigating to a folder, press Command Shift G. Open your Ableton Live and go into Preferences. At the File Folder tab, make sure Use VST Plugin System Folders is turned on and the plugin should appear in your file browser under the Plugins tab. To use the Top Lights VST device, drag it to the end of the lights chain. This would normally be it, but for some reason the VST interface is always set to output audio, so we need to work around this to capture the actual MIDI output for any lights to show up. Create another helper MIDI track, make sure its input is set to your lights track and the sub input to Top Lights VST. The output should be set to your launchpad accordingly. Now the device should be working just fine. Although the device has been extensively tested, there is always a possibility that some bug made its way into the release. If you happen to find a bug, you can report it to me via the comments. Feedback is also very appreciated. The next logical step will be coding a MIDI extension as a VST plugin, but it isn't looking very bright right now due to some VST limitations. My goal is to reach a point where Max for Live won't be needed at all for launch padding and people can finally enjoy all of their favorite projects running flawlessly in Live Lite.